Hey, uh, I'm Gary from Rocket Agency. This is Dave, Managing Toretto. And we're having a quick chat about something that uh, you mentioned to me, which mm. I find quite interesting. Mm. Uh, you said that advertising is a tax on unremarkable businesses. I did, and you got a bit offended because we're kind of an advertising agency. We are. I don't yeah. take offense easily. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, look, it's, a, it's an interesting statement. It's, it's a really old statement. It's been around for a long time. And, and to be truthful, it's probably coined by someone who didn't want people to advertise. We obviously think advertising is fantastic. Um, we put money into advertising to promote ourselves and for tons of our clients. And yep. We like to think we're pretty damn good at it. Um, the, the statement, though, really rings true for me because as competition has ramped up everywhere, like in our industry but in our clients' industries as well, what I've seen is that if people approach advertising by thinking that they can throw mediocrity out there mm -hmm. um, and get great results, they tend to be really disappointed. Right. Um, sort of gone are the days we can have a few competitors, everyone saying more or less the same thing, and you can all share in the spoils of whatever the search volume is. Increasingly what I'm saying is that there's one or two competitors that understand it's a marketing game. They put together a really remarkable series of offers, remarkable messaging, great websites, great landing pages, and they take the lion's share of what's out there. You know, your, your average uh, prospect will come along, they'll do a search, they'll open up five or six results perhaps in different tabs, and they'll really quickly close tabs down. So I, I think where, where I love this statement, where I, I feel that advertising really is a tax on unremarkable businesses, it is because if you're not remarkable, if you're not standing out in some way, you simply won't get that ability to transfer strangers uh, into visitors, let alone prospects on your website. So what that means for me as a marketer is I love um, it when a, a client comes to us and if they're not yet remarkable, um, then they invest that money in making sure that uh, they give us opportunities to look at their messaging, to develop fantastic offers for them, to overhaul landing pages with conversion in mind, but also just marketing messaging in mind. So um, it's a real mind shift for lots of competitors. You know, mm. so many people, as you know, will simply come in and say, there's our assets, send traffic, make mm -hmm. money. Yep. Um, and I just love to talk to people about this topic and get them thinking about what it means. I know it's a bit of a rant now. No, no, it's, it's fine. No, no. Um, and I guess the fact that it's described as a tax means there's mm. a financial um, implication that we're talking about here. Yeah. Um, so if you are unremarkable, mm. you're effectively having to pay more to mm. stand out. Yep, that's right. If you're remarkable, you catch the eye sooner, yep. more people will kind of uh, click, more people will convert, yep. you're spending less money to acquire those customers. That's so right. I guess that makes sense when you put it like that. That's exactly right. So it's tax, redu tax reduction. We're not suggesting yep. you don't advertise, we're suggesting people should advertise more actually, yep. but just make sure you're really getting to use as much of that money as possible in uh, truly converting people. Okay, well you convinced me. Hopefully Excellent. you convinced some people out there. I hope so. Thanks Dave. Thank you guys.